normally I don't like to talk about the business of football because I don't know how many fans are terribly into the, the business aspect of it, but the business aspect of it does actually affect whether somebody like, say, Juju Smith-Schuster is going to be retained. I've got Chris Godwin on in hour number three or the fact that Von Miller could be cut or things like yeah. that based on the salary cap. And, you know, and I, I'm just wondering about the cap and, and how it's affected. Uh, wh- when when are we going to find this out? When, when are, when are GM, I had Jason Light on yesterday. He said, good question when I asked when he's going to know what the, the number is, because it is going to be appreciably lower than expected, correct, due to COVID-19? Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's a thing. Do I think it's as big of a thing as teams are making it out to be? Are they hiding behind it a little bit, kind of waiting for others to blink? And, and also knowing that, except for these rare occasions where we're talking about specific quarterbacks and specific contracts that are probably only going to be moved to a couple of places. You know, by and large, I think most teams are content to let things play out. Even the franchise tag period itself, nobody feels the need to run out there and slap a tag on somebody the first moment that you can. Um, But is it something that, you know, at two weeks from now becomes an eventuality? Sure. But, I mean, look, the cap is going to be somewhere between 185 and 190-ish. And and I guess – Maybe a little higher if if things go completely crazy in some of these TV deals and they get done um, in short order. But I don't know how you could bank on that. But I, I think at this point, if you're projecting around 185, give or take a few million either way, you're, you're going to be in the ballpark. Uh, but I think it's more about, well... Well, if they haven't cut their guys yet, then we're not going to start cutting our guys. And, you know, we'll, we're, this whole sort of, you know, ch- game of chicken that's played sometimes where the teams certainly that are in cap compliance and don't have to worry about redoing a bunch of contracts right. to get under the cap. You know, I, I think for them, it's business as usual, and, but they, they have the uh, – the wherewithal to be patient, to let these other teams slowly have their bloodletting, to then start digging through that sort of um, pile to find their treasure. So uh, the 185 would be um, how 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 much less than what they would expect? 10 million, 15 million? I mean, that's that's a significant amount of money. Well, if that's yeah, what yeah. I mean, if you were continuing to just project forward with how the cap would be moving, then it would be considerably less. But if you <laughs> you'd also you know, if that's how you were operating, Rich, then shame on you. No, I know. through this pandemic. I we, hear you. We saw, you know, a season with no people in the stands, by and large. Um, so this was going to be something that was going to impact the 2021 season, and, and especially the economics of the 2021 season, to great regard. And the reality is the league year starts in, in the middle of March, and we weren't going to be fully vaccinated by then. We weren't going to have a whole lot of assurances by then about – what stadiums are absolutely positively going to look like, you know, in August and September of of this year. So, I, I mean, I, you would be kind of grossly negligent to have been operating no, I, I, internally I, in anything other than, okay, it's going to be in the 180s I in hear all you. likelihood. I hear you. It's just, and last one on this before we move on. Uh, are you saying that the current TV deal negotiations, if they come through, might actually affect this salary cap right here, right now? Because what you're hearing is that, uh, you know, uh, my bo- current bosses, your former bosses, are, are, are asking uh, so much for Monday Night Football that uh, Jerry Jones might personally own Mr. Toad's Wild Ride in both theme parks on both coasts by the end of this conversation. Uh, yeah, I, I think, um, you know, there's a negotia- active negotiations going on. Um, my bosses, your bosses, yes. um, a lot of people's <laughs> bosses, uh, trying to figure out exactly what the right number is and what makes sense for them. Um, and I think some of these deals are probably further along than others. Um, but but, look, but what, if, could if it affect the cap? Sort of could it have... a cap, right? Yeah, right? The more future cost certainty you have and revenue certainty you have, the easier it is to okay. borrow against tomorrow to make the pot bigger today. Um, eventually, they may run out of time, you know, and it just may be it is what it is. Um, but I have found in my experience that even in normal years, you would have the salary cap negotiators and um, front office people go down to Dallas for the NFL Management Council meetings around Thanksgiving, and they'd come back with a number, 
and then the NFLPA and the league would meet at the combine to set the final number, and that number would invariably be much higher than sort of the worst case scenario that would be issued to the teams, you know, three months prior. So where there's a will, there's a way, and it's in everybody's best interest to do it. Um, but do I think we're going to look at a scenario where it's at one, you know, it's pushing 200? You know, I, I just, I, I, I don't. I think we're starting to run out of time for that. But if you're projecting, again, 185, maybe they goose it to 190-ish, you know, could that cost you a player? I mean, is that a significant difference for some teams more than others, especially the ones that are 30 million over? Right. But by and large, for the rest of the league, I think it just creates, like I said, an environment where, well, we don't need to rush out and do anything. Let's let this market settle. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.